Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Lacy Bay Designs. On this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful play suit. So let's get started. Great, so these are the materials I've been needing for my tutorials. African print, scissors, elastic band, tape measure, ruler and then my chalk. Okay, so at this point, I will then fold the fabric into two like what I have done. It's an off-shoulder top, so I'll be taking away from the off-shoulder to the chest about 5 inches because she's a small girl, like about 7 years to 8 years girl. Okay, so from shoulder to waist is 14 inches, but I'll be making it 15 inches. One inch allowance has been added, so I mark the 15 inches at the other side. Okay. But the best measurement for my 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 client, okay, let me use my client, is 26 divided by 4. And then I added about 2.5 as my allowance. 1 inch as my seam allowance and then 1.5 as is to give enough space. Okay. I'll be cutting, that's the front, so I'll be cutting out the back. I actually used about two years of African print. So as you can see, 26 divided by 4 and then my other ones. Okay. So I will cut out the back as well. And then work on the shorts to be added to the top. Okay. It's actually the same. I didn't add any seam allowance. I didn't add any zip allowance or any extension. Okay, so across back, I'm using 12 inches. I then came down for about 4 inches. And then curved my armhole. I did the same thing for the back. It's actually the front and back together. So I cut out together with the back. Okay, so this is the shorts. I'll be using the hip measurement, 26. So 26 divided by 4. Okay, plus 2.5. 1 inch as seam allowance and then 1.5 as crotch extension. Okay, please, since there'll be elastic at the waist i then came down for about two inches as you can see that i'm marking out the two inches i will then rule a line okay so from the waist to the hip for my seven year eight years old girl nine inches that is nine inches okay so i then came here and then nine inches as well i connected with my line okay then short length is 14 inches but i made it 16 inches same allowance has been added so 16 inches okay so i then connected it with my ruler as well to make it a straight line okay so i'm about to work with the crotch i'll then indicate the 1.5 as my crotch extension I'll then indicate the same thing on the waistline, 1.5, and then connect it in a straight line, and curve the crotch. Okay, so when we come to the tie area, I then came back of about 2 inches, yes, I came back of about 2 inches before connecting it to the crotch curve okay so this is all i'll be having for the back i'll then cut out and then cut the back as well i'll be having for the front yes so i'll cut out and then cut the back as well please if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet can you do so and then press the notification bell to notify you anytime I upload any video? 
okay so this is the back i then left about one inch at the waist area upwards so for the back i'll be extending the crotch line of the back about three inches away from the front like this so i'll mark out the three inches then when we come to the waist area i'll move away 1.5 okay i made it two inches sorry so i'll then connect it with a straight line and then curve at the crotch area like what i have done i'll raise it up of about one inch at the back area afterwards i'll connect it to the side of the front great and then when we come to the tie area i also extended it of about two inches downwards then i connected it back to the back crotch like this good so this is all i'll be having for the back i extended the back crotch three inches and then the waist area two inches i raised it up of about one inch and then connected it to the waist area and then the tie area about two inches then connected it to the crotch i'll then cut out and then cut the clip on the top great so at this point i'll be dividing it into two i'll be dividing the back into two the front has already been divided into two so i'll go ahead and then mark out the wrong sides of each so that it doesn't confuse me great so the next thing to do is to cut out the cape on it i actually used the wideness of about nine inches okay allowance has been added like one inch at both sides like the top and down and then the length is 36 by 2 it's actually two years so 36 by 2 is 72 okay so the next thing to do is to work on the shorts i'll then open it and then I'll then open the back, making sure the right side faces me, and then place the right side of the front onto it. Go ahead and then sew one inch at both sides. I'll be doing it at both sides. Okay. So the next thing to do after sewing both sides is to spread it into two like this, making sure right side faces each other. okay so i'll be marking at the front area have an inch downwards so have an inch i also have an inch downwards to the front crotch and then when we come to the back crotch have an inch upwards and then leave about seven inches space at the back so that when attaching the front on like onto the shirt it will be a bit easier for me okay so i will sew to where i have marked the seven inches great so this is what i have after sewing the next thing to do is to go ahead and then open the shorts into two and then finish the down area okay at the tie area i will then fold in two times like half an inch and then fold it in another half an inch after sewing the tie i will then so the crotch area like what i have done i will sew about half an inch or three quarter inch downwards so this is what i have after finishing the hem of the shorts like this okay i'm about to work on the top of the play suit okay so i'll then place the front and back facing each other like this making sure the right side faces each other i'll then go ahead and then bind the armhole 
of each with the bias afterwards i will sew the side and side of about one inch okay the next thing to do after binding the armhole of the top and then sewing the side and side of the top the next thing to do is to go ahead and then divide the back into two and then attach it onto the short part okay so i'm dividing the back into two great the top of the dress or the place you seems bigger than the shorts so when attaching it i will then pleat a bit at the waist area to fit the shorts perfectly okay so after pinning down i will then go ahead and sew one inch at the waist area okay after sewing the one inch at the waist area, I will then attach the cape onto it. So this is it. Okay. So I'm about to attach the cape onto it. I'll then go ahead and locate the center and then pin all round. Because I'll be inserting elastic band. It's going to shrink so that I'll get a smaller shoulder. Okay, so you can, as you can see, I'm pinning down. After pinning, I'll go ahead and sew one inch all round. Okay, this is what I have after sewing one inch all round and then creating a case. And after sewing the one inch all round, I'll then I then folded in about quarter of an inch and then created a casing to enable me pass the elastic band through it at the waist area i'll then create another casing at the waist area so i'll fold in about quarter of an inch and then place it onto the short spot and then sew on top at the very tip of it great this is what i have after creating the casing at the shoulder area as well the next thing to do is to go ahead and then insect the elastic band through the waist casing and then the shoulder casing yes so i then fix my pin at the tip of the elastic band and then inserted it into the casing like this okay good so this is what i have after inserting the elastic band and then pulling to the desired waist area waist measurement sorry and then the shoulder also afterwards i'll go ahead and then sew down the open part this is what I have after sewing down the open part. Great. You can choose to fix a zip. Uh -huh. So fixing a zip will also be cool. So you can choose to fix a zip or you close it without fixing a zip. So I created a beautiful band attached to it. This is the final look after everything. See you all in our next video.